1039 Proud FM, you're riding home with me, Richard Ryder, and hopping into the Proud FM Mini Countryman. It's John Valinga from Slava Vodka. How are you, John? I'm really good, Richard. How are you? I'm good now. You are part of the Proud FM Halloween festivities out on the street, Halloween night. You're going to be there cheek to jowl with our street team. Yeah. Uh, what have you got planned? Well, you know, this year we brought the organizers of Key of Pride mm-hmm. to come to the World Pride Human Rights Conference and, and March in the Parade. It was an extraordinary thing. You know, these guys have had a hard go of it. Yeah. It's, you know, they've, they've managed to fight down the gay propaganda law and now, you know, things are going better in Ukraine for people, the LGBT community, but you know, it's, it's never over. Um, it was incredibly inspiring for them to be here for World Pride, and they went back with their batteries all recharged. People were cheering for them in the parade. It was just extraordinary. Mm-hmm. And we thought, how do we keep that going a little bit? So what we're going to do is we have a little photo booth next to the, where you get the costume contest right at right. Church and Wellesley, and you're going to come in, write a message on a whiteboard. Remember those, those bank ads a yes, while back where yes. people were like inspiring things on the whiteboard? So you write a message of hope and encouragement to these folks at Kiev Pride back in Ukraine, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a slideshow out of the whole thing and send it to them so that everybody over there can look at it and just get their tank filled up again with hope and inspiration, uh, just like they did when they came here, right. when we brought them over for um, for uh, for World Pride. Right. So instead of their delegation coming here and seeing hope and, and prosperity and the gay community somewhere else, the gay community is going to send themselves. You got it. Exactly. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. So uh, we, last year we did a sampling of Slava Vodka on the street, but unfortunately... We have to charge money for it. It's oh, the law. Which so. is always a drag when you're on the street. Exactly. Because people are in money. costumes. They don't, have their, they don't have their wallets with <laughs> they them. They're, so they're like, well, I get some vodka. It's like, no, I have to charge money. So th- this time we thought this is more in line with what we were doing in the past mm-hmm. with Slava Vodka bringing them over for World Pride. So we thought, let's bring... And they were just blown away by our community here. Yeah. It was extraordinary for them. And, uh, and for the world community, because they were here too. They were delegates at the, the Human Rights Conference. It was an amazing yeah. experience for yeah. them. And we kind of want to give them another taste of that. To let them know, we remember them. We still support them. We're here to encourage them. Well, thank you so much for doing this. And if people want more information on Slava Vodka, what's the best way for them to do that? Just go to the website, SlavaVodka.com. Or any liquor store. You got it. Most of the LCBOs around here have got it. We're going to have a special display over here at the Young and Wellesley uh, store uh, starting tomorrow. So uh, if, you, if you're feeling like having a party after the Halloween festivities, uh, you, can have, you can go get some right there. There you go. Well, thanks for dropping in, John. Always a pleasure to see you. Good to see you too, Richard. Cheers.